good editing job. Uh, I really uh, Linda fabulous. Uh, that's really terrific. These uh, videos are available free of charge. Uh, they're on our website. Uh, I think they've been, uh, Linda, haven't you downloaded them on your website as well? Yes. So, right, so they're available uh, as a resource for uh, their uh, four or five minute videos. Uh, and here is uh, what you said. I thought it would be perhaps helpful uh, just uh, to read a paragraph from our letter of invitation uh, to the Chicago Community Media Summit that took place on uh, June 15th of last year. Uh, so, dear friend, uh, uh, we've all seen doom and gloom stories about news about the news business coming from the go-go sticker uh, and stock ticker and breathless coverage of Google, MySpace, YouTube, and other platforms. Uh, but less well understood are the community media, which are at the heart of the communication revolution that has a lot to do with, uh, a lot to do, uh, with but is not limited to what's happening on the web. The summit is an opportunity for a closer look at efforts uh, in Chicago and beyond to harness the communication revolution to locate critical information and tell stories that have never really made it to the mainstream. So why a community media summit? We're gathered to understand and examine the forces and content that make up community media and to imagine and explore the potentials of community media for serving basic human and community needs. So, um, we had about uh, 175 People show up. Uh, I think it's about comparable to this group. Uh, uh, and um, I want to give credit to Tom Clark, uh, with whom, without whose community media workshop, we couldn't have done this. Uh, Terry Mazzini, uh, the president of the Chicago Community Trust, who gave us a small grant that helped to pay for uh, these videos. All of these videos were shot on the day of the summit. So was, this is all what you're seeing here. It's, all shot on one day, which kept the price down, and, uh, uh, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to do something not unanalogous with the filming that's going on right now. <laughs> so, congratulations and good luck on that. Uh, so, the, the, um, uh, the, the two tools that come out of the summit that may be useful to you are one, the videos, and this compilation. And number two, this uh, what's going on in community media that is in your packets. We have 100 copies of this. That's, we've got the last 100 copies uh, in your packets, which um, was a systematic um, look at uh, community media across the country, uh, focusing on uh, Boston, uh, Chicago, uh, and uh, St. Paul, and Portland, Oregon. So it is a, a good scan, it's, uh, I think uh, we've been told the best sort of overview of what is the media uh, in the last year. Uh, now, you already heard from Lisa uh, about the origin of this summit, which really was um, conceived of uh, by Linda, Lisa, and Seth Ray at the AC and in late uh, July. Uh, and as uh, I was reporting on uh, the Community Media Summit at ACM, uh, and by the way, the only foundation person at ACM, you guys have got to get more foundation people on top of it. Yeah. You really do. Uh, and uh, that's, uh, and uh, we can talk about this uh, later, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, I, uh, the uh, Linda and uh, Lisa said, well, Okay, that's a good idea. Why don't we do one ourselves? That was that's what that's what led to us uh, here. Uh, so uh, I got last week uh, the review, uh, the community media review, uh, navigating current changes, uh, currents of change in community media. This, by the way, is a fantastic uh, publication. This is a pretty good publication, and you should be very proud. Tony, you and your team putting this together. I mean, this is pretty great. And uh, it's as good a summary of highlights from that convention for those who are not as good to be there as, others, as I can imagine. Uh, so, uh, this one, if you're not members, uh, 
I'm sure most of you are, but if those of you who may not be, you've got to join ACM and the uh, uh, Publications Library. Yeah. So, uh, <coughs> congratulations to uh, Linda, Steph, and Lisa, and all of you who have put uh, today's event together. I'm really happy to be here and to help, help you achieve your goals in uh, all of our camp. Uh, I'm delighted to hear uh, at least say that this Community Media Summit is the beginning of a process of collaboration among yourselves and with others who are not here, uh, but are engaged in community media, and especially the public interest uh, computing community and public broadcasting. Are there any public broadcasters here? All here. One. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got to get, uh, now that broadcasting is, is uh, transitioning from analog to digital, and that means going from one channel to six channels, there's going to be a need for more content, there's going to be a lot more opportunity for collaboration with what you guys are doing. Uh, and I just think it's a very right time. So maybe next year, as you have your next summit, you can do it on, you can do it on a collaborative basis with the public broadcasting let alone the public interest computing uh, folks. Uh, so there's some big opportunities here. Uh, finally, I would like to say just a few words about the Benson Foundation, which is dedicated to serving <coughs> in the public interest. Our two main areas of activities are, number one, helping to define and strengthen community media. And number two, uh, working on media policy especially in support of the public interest obligations of digital television broadcasters. We did a study that was funded by the Ford Foundation, a citizen's guide, public interest obligations of digital television broadcasters. Uh, and uh, I, uh, that has become sort of the, the key tool from the field, bringing up today the recommendations <coughs> of the Presidential Commission that I served on in the late. 90s that would have said the same time the public uh, presidential commission on the public interest obligations of digital television broadcasters. Had to get deep breath to get all that out in one day. <laughs> in one day. It's not a very uh, title, uh, but, it, but it is. It is the part of the map. Um, the other policy thing we're working on is the universal service in support of universal broadband, and we have. Um, that was published in late December, Universal Affordable Broadband for All Americans, uh, how to modernize universal service for the 21st century and connect Americans to the new uh, era of digital opportunity. Uh, in fact, I'm going to fly to Washington tomorrow uh, to um, participate in two events, uh, one uh, at the uh, National Press Club uh, with Commissioners Cops and Adelstein, uh, to this, yeah, right, you're absolutely right. We are really lucky to have these guys at the NCC. And these are really fabulous guys. And if you have not been following uh, their, uh, uh, their uh, 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 minority uh, uh, statements and opinions, uh, please do. Um, anyway, there's big unfinished business with the public interest obligations uh, and a need for new rules for the new digital media. So this idea of deregulation is good and solves all problems and will it to the marketplace. It's just not working. So, um, I, so the, we need new rules for the media. Uh, I'm also attending a key fundraising meeting with our senior member fellow, Jim Pullenberger, who is formerly Vice President of the Board Stafford in Communications, about the next steps on universal affordable broadband for all Americans. So I, I think one of the things that, uh, in addition to the outreach to the public broadcasting folks and the public uh, 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 interesting computing folks, how do you relate all of what you're doing to broadband? Because broadband is the black box that's, that does it all. I mean, it, it really it, it is the coming beginning. For, what, what the telephone was for the 20th century broadband will be. And we're way behind. We're 15th. 
now in the world. We're way behind. You've heard this speech. I don't want to give it again. <laughs> You've heard the speech from many people. But broadband is key, and so as you plan your next steps and your next meeting, think about how it relates to broadband and the deployment of broadband and the opportunities that that will be to uh, link with other public uh, uh, community media folks. And most importantly, to, to, to use these powerful tools in meeting basic human and societal needs, basic human and community needs. That's the big challenge. So, that's it.